hey y'all how you living how you feel like you doing third time is the charm we finna get this message out um So something about your right hand, your right palm. I heard drawing symbols and I saw I heard drawing symbols by young boy. I feel like somebody's like looking out into the distance. It's kind of giving me three of wands energy, but I can feel it in my heart. Like I feel, I feel sad. I, I, I it feels like a somber energy. I've been feeling it since. A couple hours now and I was like I feel like I'm drawn to channel a message when energy just comes out of nowhere so I don't know I feel like somebody I heard somebody has heartburn or there's a burn on somebody's heart oh a scar a scar 111 okay um I'm picking up low scars by trippy red Whoa, and then the lights went out. Okay, so somebody is feeling very sad, okay? Very, like, heart broken, possibly. I'm hearing, I'm getting fire, range, burning desire, passion. So it's like almost, like it's, 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 it's mixed emotions, but I feel like it's all stemming from like either a relationship, a connection, something. I feel like someone's having like a massive heart awakening right now. I don't know why I heard teething. So somebody is like a baby when it comes to this love shit, like a beginner, sorry. Why they said baby? Um, <laughs> someone's like a beginner when it comes to this this love situation. Not very like skilled or experienced. So I feel like whatever someone is feeling is very like new or foreign to them. I really just heard the wait has been worth it. Your wait, and I heard something is like worthwhile. Like it's gonna be like worth all of the waiting that you've done up until now oh i really feel like i want to cry and i just don't know why like it's not me <laughs> it's not me i just it's like this unexplainable feeling that someone's having um in arm's length something's in arm's length of you or someone is wanting to hug or vice versa anything this is like in a more emotional read. Okay, there's a lot of spiritual activity possibly that could be going on around you. Um, so it's like light activations, heart activations, sonar activations. I, I, I low-key wanted to say like a sonogram, a sonogram. If somebody could be having a baby. Somebody could be like a first time mother or a father, um, and they're kind of like shooketh about like becoming a parent, and they're like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if I can do this. You're gonna be a great fucking parent. Like, don't even trip about that. You're gonna be a fucking amazing. Like, you were literally, everything that has happened into your life almost guided you on, it guided you onto this path of being a parent. You're gonna be amazing. It's not going to come with a rule book, a guide. <sighs> but you're going to be fine. <laughs> you're going to be fine. Don't sweat the small shit. Don't let your fear or anxieties stand in the way of, like, a beautiful-ass moment. Like, Um, 
I mean, like, blowing off steam. I'm getting pyramid schemes, so I feel like there's some false energy, like, there's some false energy appearing real. There's some fear happening here, okay? So believe everything that is happening to you right now, okay? Don't gaslight yourself. Don't sabotage yourself. Like, be honest with yourself. Trust your intuition, all right? Wherever you're being led to go, go. Wherever you're being... Wherever you're being led astray from, leave it behind. Because I, I feel like you're not being led astray. You're being led to go on the right path. Believe it. You have to believe it to see it. You're not going to see it to believe it. You have to believe it in your heart so you can see it in your actual reality. If you know and have confidence that you're going to be a good parent, like don't induce that fear into the situation and then 555 five, five, you're going to end up just psyching yourself out changes are here changes are present trust the changes that are about to happen okay they're for your best they're for your highest good whether these people placing situations are leaving or coming or going or whatever making sure that you are responding as positively as you can um because we can't control situations but we can tr control our reactions to them I feel like someone just needs their mind put at peace about a situation. You will, you are going to get the reassurance that you need. Okay, your reassurance is coming. Making sure that you are reassuring, reassuring, Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Oh, that's my teacher name. Um, reaffirming yourself. Okay. Okay. Um I've been doing tapping lately, like tapping today on myself. Um if you can like migraines or headaches, um that can help your temple your temporal temporalis massaging your temples helps. Um Poetic Justice. There's a song playing in the background. Um, you will get you are you are getting your justice. You are getting your justice in the most poetic way. I love that. I mean, you know, that's not the song. Anyway. So, I know it as poetic justice. If you're born in whatever era the song was sampled off of, you'll know what the song is. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. I know it as Poetic Justice by Kendrick Lamar, okay? Don't get on me. When I think about Poetic Justice, I think about Janet Jackson, okay? Yeah, so... So, just that scene alone with somebody... Some of y'all could be missing somebody, meeting somebody, hearing somebody in the thunder and the rain. I, yes, that's exactly what it is. In the thunder and the rain. Thunder, I feel like it's thunder, storms, and rain. Somebody is feeling. It's a feeling. It's not an action. So somebody is going through like some emotional turbulence. Ooh. It's a sight to see. That's what I heard. So you could be witnessing this or seeing this. I think someone's, I think feeling it is the best way to allow some, allow the fear to be released. Okay. Don't ignore or avoid your feelings because that's just going to trigger them more. Allow yourself to feel whatever is feeling. Allow it to pass. Pain is only temporary. And release the fears. The fears will eventually like resurface as to why you are feeling the feelings. Because it's, it's often like a fear of something that brought these uncomfortable feelings um, along. Don't let opportunities pass you by. Life is too short. Life is too precious. I really want to cry. Wow, hold on, y'all. My bad. <laughs> no, don't start dinging. I just wanted the light.
light to come back on. What? Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, so don't let opportunities pass you by. Um, you are going to your next assignment, your judgment. Conclusions are happening. And I think that's why someone is feeling either residual energy, knowing they have to let go of something, or someone is just feeling like someone's just missing somebody. You could be in separation or at a distance from someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard somebody just wants credit. I feel like somebody's really trying. 1101. Somebody's really trying. Somebody's wanting like credit clear. Like someone's wanting to start over. Credit clear. What's that mean? Like a clean slate? Someone's trying to clear their name. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is a lot. music stopped. I don't know. I guess it was a... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna title this the last song. I don't know why. The commercial's on. I'm a, Oh my gosh, you know what I just got? The last dance. Someone wants to save... I don't know, y'all. I'm getting a whole bunch of the last song. I'm getting the last dance. Someone wants you to save the last dance for them. Um, saving the best for last, like, whoa. I got Chris Brown, yo, somebody's gonna talk, 12-12. Excuse me, miss, I saw you from across the room, and I got to admit that you got my attention, you're making me wanna say yo. So, this is gonna be on some, like, last minute, unexpected something. I keep thinking my dad is calling me. A masculine could be calling you. Your homeboy could be calling you. Somebody's homeboy is calling them. I don't know why I just picked that up. Somebody's homeboy just called them to tell them something. And I feel like this ignited them to do something. Because <laughs> I don't know if y'all hear it. It's like, whoo, whoo, whoo. No, I don't know what's happening. He says, you make me want to be a better man, 1313. I'm probably going to get, I'm probably going to get copyrighted, y'all. Um, scratch that. It is what it is. Um, no, 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 no. Diamond in the rough. Okay, so what I'm getting is, you could be in ins inspiration. Inspiration? Somebody sparked, somebody sparked a change, or somebody sparked or ignited like a fire within somebody, and it's like making them want to change, be a better person. Someone is really trying to gather all this evidence in front of them, uh, physically, like, in front of their eyes. Because, But I feel like intuitively in their heart, they know something. And I feel like someone is struggling to identify their feelings because it's new. And this connection, it has the potential to go really far. And this person wants something long term. And this lady is looking out the fucking window across from me. And I don't know if somebody's looking. The light came, somebody's lights came on. So somebody could be looking at this happening, witnessing this happen. She's looking through the blinds. So I think this is some like secretive type shit. Like some this could be somebody that you don't even know watching you. But I can see her, which is crazy because her blinds are wide the fuck open. I don't know. <laughs> um the lights went back off. 
and then she got up. Who child? I think I'm done because my throat is starting to hurt. 1515. I'm going to end this right here. I love y'all. Have a good one. Peace.